hi guys and today we are going to create a two slicer game on scratch so let's begin so i'm going to go i'm going to go and draw a backdrop first so let's see so we are going to this is very we are going to choose we are going to choose the second one so the first color uh, on the first color we are going to put it as going to just choose this we are going to yeah so then we are going to yeah then we are going to fill it instead of things we are going to mark the outline and we are going to draw a square This is it. We are going to just delete this right, and we are going to now add the. We are first going to duplicate this. So then we are going to go to the backdrop and the first, and we are going to write the text. I am going to choose marker, but you want you can choose anything else. So I am going to write fruit slice. I'm going to change the color to red. Okay. Instead of putting slicer, let's so let's just click somewhere and let's just here again and let's instead of putting slice so let's put it as fruit means yep and then we are going to just click somewhere and then let's make it bigger and then let's place it more up and we are going to make it bigger So now, now that we have this, we are just going to go to the codes of the backdrop and we are going to write the code as when green flag is, we are going to create a variable called high score. We are going to create another variable. Called score. And we are going to create another last variable called high score again. And but this time we are going to make it a cloud variable. Okay, we are going to just hide that. Then we are going to write the code as set high score, not the cloud one, but high score to zero. Yep. And then we are going to go to the events and broadcast a message called called start screen. Yep, and then we are going to say that when I receive start screen, 
we are going to go to the variables and we are going to say set score to zero. Set score to zero. Then we are going to say we are going to go to the looks and say switch backdrop to backdrop. No, we are going to say just switch backdrop. Switch backdrop to backdrop one. Um, then we are going to go to the events again and then we are going to say when I receive this time we are going to say a new message start game. So we are, when I receive start game we are going to go to the looks and then uh, say switch okay so we say switch backdrop to Which backdrop to backdrop to yep. So this is the code. Now we are going to paint on now we are going to choose a sprite. Uh, let's uh, let's search button. Okay, yeah. Let's put you choose this button. So we are going to place it here. And then we are going to go to the costumes and choose the text. And then we are going to change the fill to white. Yep. Then we are going to write begin. Okay. We are going to just write it in self. Okay. Then we are going to click somewhere else. And then we are going to place it a bit down. A bit left now, a bit more left. Yeah. Yep. Then we are going to copy it. We are just going to say Control C, and then we are going to say Control V. Oh my gosh! What just happened? Control Z. Okay. We are going to write, oh my gosh, what did I do? We went to Roblox. Okay, I will say control Z. Okay. And we are going to write begin again. But this time we are going to turn it backwards. Yep. So now we are going to go to the codes and say, I want to say that when I receive start screen, then we are going to say, go to looks and say show. And then we are going to say when this when this sprite is clicked, then uh, then we are going to go to the events and then we are going to broadcast start game and then we are going to go to the looks and hide so let's see what happens to it now so when we click on it okay so it still doesn't work we can try it again wait why does it not work okay now we have to say when i receive start screen show we are going to say this and yep, it works. So now we are going to create another sprite. We are just going to paint it and we are going to leave it blank. We are going to write then green flag clicked. Then we are going to make go to the variables and make a list. Yeah, we are going to actually make two lists. First one we are going to make it the first one we are going to make it, uh, yeah, slice x, x, okay, and then we are going to make another list called slice y. So we are going to hide these lists for now and then we are going to write the code as 
we are going to say that we are going to go to the variables and then we are going to say delete all of slice x and delete all of slice y then we are going to go to the control and we are going to drag a forever loop and then we are going inside the forever loop we are going to put an if block and we are going to say that if mouse down then we are going to go to the if mouse down we are going to go to the variable then we are going to say add go to the uh, go to the setting and say add mouse x to slice x and we are going to just put it here then we are going to remove this and put mouse y and we are going to change it to slice y yeah then we are going to first let us rename the sprite to slice yeah so then we are going to uh, go then we are going to put on go to the control and put another if inside the forever loop then we are going to go to the operators and drag an or block and in the or we have to put we have to go to the variables and then okay no we have to go to the operators and we have to drag the greater than and the second one we can put two we can put four and in the then we can go to the variables and drag length of slice x and then we can go to the operators again and say not in the second or and then we are going to go to the same thing and say mouse down so if length of slice x greater than 4 or not mouse down then we are going to again go to the variables and we are going to say delete one of slice x and delete one of slice y yeah then we are going to go to the then we are going to go to the my blocks and then we are going to make a block and no we are going to name it i'm not just going to make a block again i'm going to make a block and i'm going to name it uh, Slice. Okay, not slice. I'm going to name it draw slice. Okay. Then we are just going to leave this for a sec. And then we are going to again. We are going to again go to even. And we are going to say when green flag clicked. Then we are going to go to the extensions and add a pen. And this pen is going to be used in the when this green flag clicked and in the defined draw slice. So we have to write the code as we are going to go to the looks and drag and hide. And then we are going to go to the pen and we are going to say erase all then we are going to say set pen color to white okay white yeah. and then we are going to say set pen size to one sorry set pen size to um, let's say six and then we are going to go to the control and we are going to drag a forever loop and in the forever loop we are going to go to the my blocks and we are going to draw slice yep then now we are going to write the code for define draw slice so go to the control and not control we are going to go to the pen and say erase all and then we are going to go to the control and say if if then we are going to go to the operators and drag the operator then we are going to go to the 
variables and, and if length of slice x greater than zero length of slice x greater than zero then we are going to go to the pen and say pen up then we are going to go to the looks and say sorry not looks we are going to go to the motion and go to we are going to drag it go to x and y then we are going to go to the variables again and we are going to uh, say item one of slice x go to x item one of slice x and go to y item one of slice y yeah. then we are going to go to the pen and say pen okay we are going to say pen down then we are going to go to the then we are going to go to the variables and we are going to make a variable called i and then we are going to choose for this sprite only and then we are going to click on ok and then we are going to hide the i so then we are going to say that after the pen down we are going to say set i to 2 set i to 2 then we are going to go to the control and drag a repeat until this one and then we are going to write the code as we are going to go to the operators and say drag a greater than then we are going to the first one we are going to put i and in the second one we are going to go to the variable and we are going to say length of slice x again and then inside the repeat until we are going to say that Go to the motion again and say go to x and y and go then we are again go to the variables and then say item one item i say item i of slice x and then we are going to duplicate it and then we are going to say item i of slice y and then we are going to say go to the variable and then we are going to say change i by one then after the repeat until we are going to go to the pen and say pen up at the last inside that so now let us try the code okay yeah see it works now when i click on begin we have code this one yeah so bye guys see in the next video don't forget to drop a comment and give a like and subscribe my channel bye guys